Now, if we're being honest, I've been keeping it pretty fast and loose with Betty here. Real shooting from the hip, so to speak. Now, inherently, this isn't a, a good thing because it means that you make some mistakes. So, to that end, I've actually already put in a new ECU here on Betty, enough that I've gotten to drive her a bit and really learn some stuff, so that's been nice. But you don't, you don't have to worry about that for now. What you have to worry about for now, drink up, Betty, drink up. Anyways, as I was saying, there's this Speedwino, blah, blah, Speedwino. I was hoping to do this in one take, because now I'd have to stop filming and at the very least stop filling, you know? Hey. Anyways, there's a Speedwino-based ECU called Ocelot, and I, I got the chance to put it in Betty here. She is my test bench after all, and you do a good job at it, Betty. So with that you know, information that I've gained, I'd love to introduce you to the Speedwino Ocelot by WMtronics. There you go. Don't worry. We'll stop recording soon. I'll whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Taking a look at this ECU, it's as small as the price point. Now, on the website, it mentioned this board, you know, kind of referred to the connector as all grown up. It does feel all grown up, like we're actually using motorsport harness connections. All righty, so we're going to get into the infotainment part of this video pretty quickly here. It's, you know, it's not going to be very entertainment-y, but there's going to be a lot of info. I'm not finding a lot of instructions and how-tos on this board just yet, so I'm just trying to get something out there for the community. Please feel free to tear this down, leave some comments down below of, like, what I've done wrong or, you know, bad practices I'm enforcing or whatever it may be. I honestly would love to hear it. I'm new here, okay? So let's get it rolling, y'all. Now this upgraded ECU harness really does give some good vibes. Ig ignore, my, ignore my pigtail there. To get it off and on, it seems to have like multiple stages of like locking in place and whatnot. And I think that's pretty sweet. Took me a little while to figure out how to actually use this harness. I actually ended up taking it apart to figure it out. Turns out there's this like white little plug thing that'll lock your pins into place. So to get your pins in, you got to unlock it, of course. And then also there's, you know, it's a motorsport wiring harness. So it's got stuff to try and keep water out. So that means, you know, you can get blank, blank plugs that you can stick into the back wherever you don't, you know, have wires and whatnot. Really, really cool stuff. Really enjoying this. Great upgrade. Great upgrade. Since this is a Speedwino board, you're going to use Speedy Loader to actually upload the firmware to actually make this into an ECU. Hopefully that's not surprising to you. It's pretty common in the Speedwino environment. One thing that may be surprising to you is that you're, you know, there's some drivers to download here. Of course, I included them in the description below. As you're scrolling down, don't forget to stop at the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Now, regardless of your driver situation, you're going to have to upload a firmware to your new Ocelot board. You do that with Speedy Loader, and the first time you do it, you don't have to worry about pressing this little button that's on the board. Every time you upload a firmware after that first upload, there's this little button, and it says, press then release when uploading. That's what, it, what you do. Whenever you're trying to upload firmware that second time, that's when you... Press and hold that button down until you hit upload in Speedy Loader on your computer and then release it at the same time. Seems simple enough. I, I, I only fumbled with it for a little bit, but we got it figured out now. Finding pin one on this board is actually pretty easy. It's, you know, the side of the connector that is by the USB connector, but it's the side of the connector that's away from the board. So top side near the USB connector. So when you're looking at the back of your harness, that means you put the side with the little weird toggle thing up top and then the upper leftmost pin, that's pin one. 
Now, the last thing you're probably going to be thinking to yourself is that you need some manner of case for your ECU. And I actually am having a hard time getting my ECU into the case that I, there we go. I made a case and put it up on printables for you to 3D print. That's it. I mean, it's a nice case too. It's, it's really simple. Like me. Cool. <laughs> Alrighty, so I've actually gone ahead and tried to get my Jeep started. It's working. I have a r working and running Ocelot board. I'm very proud of it. I found a few things. So let's first and foremost talk about the settings you're going to want to have in Tuner Studio. Okay. In Tuner Studio, you got to make sure that you specify the right Speedwino version. I was a silly Billy and I thought it was a version 0.4 and what do you know, nothing was working right. When I switched it from version four to UA4C, that's right, Asla is a UA4C style board. Once I made that switch, everything was great. So board type, UA4C. Now the next piece that we're gonna configure in Tuner Studio for our Asla board is the pressure sensors. Go ahead and open up the calibrate pressure sensors piece. And then you're going to, in your drop down, you're going to go ahead and select MPX H6400A for your map sensor. Built in, four bar, ready to go. And then just below that, you have settings for your barometric sensor. Of course, you have to first specify that you do have a barometric sensor. Then you have to specify that it's pin A7. And then you also have to specify, again, in the drop down, that you have a type KP234. Once you have all that set in stone, go ahead and burn her. And that's all the settings that are unique to Ocelot. The rest are, are more than likely going to be unique to your setup. Of course, if you didn't know this, there are some jumper settings that you need to set in place on your Speedwino board. These are specifically for your trigger setup. Now, your trigger is either going to be using a VR sensor or a hall sensor. The Hall Effect sensor is referred to as direct. So when you're using this type of sensor, make sure, look at the labeling on the board, make sure you jump the part that says direct. If you're also using a Hall sensor, you're probably going to need to jump the pull-up resistors. I believe they're pull-up resistors. It, it, on the back of this Ocelot board, there's some nice little bit of information. And you can also find this information in the Speedwino wiki. For keen eye viewers, might notice that my primary and tr secondary trigger labeling looks a little bit different than yours. Don't worry, your board is the right board. My board had a bug and we worked together, the designer of the Ocelot board, the owner of WMtronics, he and I worked together to figure it out. It was actually a really wonderful experience. So he, as a, as, as a business, has definitely secured future purchases from me. Because even when it's gone wrong, he's been there to figure out what is going wrong. And it, it's just been a great experience overall. So in the end, I'm, I'm very happy with Ocelot. Now, that is everything you're going to need to know about Ocelot. But if you're a follower of my channel, then you might be curious what happened to the previous Speedwino work that I had done here on the channel. That's not a complete loss. Obviously, the tune is great. I put it on Ocelot, and she was useful. However, there is another firmware that I'm really interested in. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to use the old board to try this other firmware and we're going to use the Ocelot board as like a great, you know, I need the truck running plug in the Ocelot ECU. We'll see if it works out. I'm really excited for it. So stay tuned. There's going to be more ECU madness coming this way. There's the cap. All right, well, talk to you soon. It's the end of this one. That's Speedway No Ocelot.